Fantasia, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 5 of Drop Out Idol Fruit Tarts. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> My nose would be bothering me because I just sneezed freaking early juice and because it's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> what damn I gotta be up by 7am uh, well I mean is it the weekend or is it just <laughs> I think I need to wake her out oh no bathroom right but it's already occupied She slept in the bathroom? Huh. <laughs> really vocal? Oh. Mm. Well, that tomato looks good. Oh, Emma. Because save the best for last. Oh, she put something in there, definitely. I I'd be hella afraid. Get the step up soul. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Note to self, buy strawberries, but when you get out of school. Well, I like the fact that we got to see, you know, what a typical morning is for them now. I mean, mm. locking yourself in the bathroom because you got drunk, girl. <laughs> I'm sleeping on the toilet. I, don't, I just want to know, how comfortable can you be by sleeping on the toilet? I mean, oh, Jesus. I don't think I can do that. I mean... I've only been drunk, drunk one time. Like, I can be drunk buzzed, but, like, drunk where, you know, you still kind of know what you're doing, but you're like, what the heck is wrong with you? That only happened at my 21st birthday. I've never gotten that drunk before, ever again. Like, I can get buzzed, and then, I'm, and then that's it, off of one drink, and then I'm okay. Maybe I'll have two. My limit is usually like two to three, despite what it is. If it's, not, I'm a person who likes to drink a lot of sweet stuff rather than um, heavy, because heavy is like, especially if it's like something that's hard, just straight hard. I'm like, uh, I need something sweet to like, you know, take that hard. <laughs> 
probably every girl. There are probably some girls who can drink like a straight beer. Like I don't like beer like that. Like I think beer is so the smell of it just. What? Oh, I thought Hemo would have been the next one to show up, but I get the fact that they want to complete that before Hemo. <gasps> ah, congratulations! <laughs> what we're doing today. Yeah, you're a signature. Mm hmm That too. My god, it's so cute and simple, just like you, babe. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> the Yuri. <laughs> just, oh, fuck. <laughs> Well, I love the wings, but I mean, would you be able to do all that? That's you. Yeah, something simple. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We all used to be like that. I used to be like that too, because I mean, size. <laughs> yeah, honey. <laughs> Yeah, let, let's see that signature bit. <laughs> Can we see it, though? That's adorable now. More mature. Just like you. Mm-hmm. So you might as well start now. I mean, it ain't gonna take you that long. Maybe, like, a week, a two weeks, maybe three. Maybe even a month. Mm. 
Is she right though? Yeah, it has to be like under maybe 10 to 20 copies. So like Roko, like your younger sister? Yeah, she she's set for life. Mm. Yeah, which sucks sometimes. Because sometimes you have to choose between paying your bills or getting that regular label out. You like idols, but you specifically like Eno. I, I would say second biggest fan, cause you know, Hemo. Yeah, Hemo. Are you serious? Turning the day. Mm-hmm. I know, but she went major to just that independent. Just to be with her. <laughs> mm-hmm. Probably. Oh, 
animal. I mean, but that's a good idea, you know. Of course. Well, babe, you just have to try. You don't know until you try. Mm-hmm. Sing something simple, like, um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Happy Birthday, Mary Had a Little Lamb, something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I thought she was really more fangirling about the girls, but I was like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> because it is, it's a little obvious that... <laughs> is for the other team. <laughs> Maybe the idol should sing first. Oh, oh. I think Hamma just fell in love with someone else now. <laughs> Oh, damn. Poor baby. You want to try again? No! Hi, you! It's okay! Yeah, you want to sing a rock song? That's right. It's okay, Hemel. I'm not Hemel. You keep
true. <laughs> oh, bless you, vocal. <laughs> Poor baby. Okay, so <laughs> the relationship <laughs> and Hamo is not like this. At first, you know, you see the two of them and how they both love Eno. <laughs> they're a little sus above each other. But now they're just two friends who are just in love with the same girl. It's kind of a love triangle in a way because in the end, Eno is going to have to pick one to spend the rest of her life with. Like, she might be like, no, I want to be in a relationship with both of you instead of just one of you. Who knows? I don't know. But <laughs> that's a question we'll probably never get answered. But if it seems like next week we're getting a cream, um, Roko Sisters group episode next week with the performance, I think that it'd be also interesting because I hope they get more into this show. We've only really seen them once and it'll be officially their second appearance and I want to hear them sing as well, even though we kind of did, but at the same time didn't, um, Tenno, you're singing. You're singing so cute. Oh my god. Maybe we need to add a sixth person to this group now instead of the five that we have. Because, I mean, this girl was in choir, so that's automatically yes for me. Let her join. But she'll probably say no and she'll just be like, I'll just be that number one fan on the sidelines. Like, yes! Go, babies! Go! <laughs> Are you doing like indirect kiss? Indirect everything? Oh my god, please no. 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 Oh god. It's too late, you already went down that route. <laughs> no, it's so cute. Yeah, I see. We're getting it. We're gonna get them. We're gonna hear them sing. I am excited. Let's just go to next Monday. Let's just skip the rest of this week. And go to next Monday so I can watch these girls perform because, I mean, these three are probably besides, you know, Fruit Tart and then coming in like a butt out of how, like looking like how, like, mm, look at me and how good I can sing. I'm ready to hear these girls sing as a trio and, mm, my heart. <laughs> I just can't. It's going to be so exciting. But it was a really good episode. I mean, it went by really, really fast. Like I said, I think the best parts of this episode was just like that first few minutes of just seeing them, of how their morning start and everything. And then also them hanging out and going to karaoke together, doing typical like things that most guys and most girls will do together after school as friends for a couple of hours and then eventually go home and do homework and such because, you know, you still need to have time and make time for your friends and everything. But yeah, you got, you know, you know, got two people who are just in love with her. That's all at the end of the day. I mean, hi, you, baby, you gonna get better. She gonna get better at her, at her singing. We all know it. She gonna go back into that karaoke and she gonna whoop that thing's ass at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode five. 
of Dropout Idol Fruit Tart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 6. Bye, guys.